Hi, everybody. This is Gina and Martien. Uh, today, we are going to walk you through how to actually set up your initial Stargazer v1.2 wallet, as well as import uh, an existing wallet using a private key or JSON file. So we've just installed the new version of the Stargazer wallet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and walk you through from the beginning. Um, so you'll go to the browser extension and go ahead and just create a new wallet as you normally would. So you go ahead, click on that. Click on that. Die up there. It'll do. Yeah. Okay. And then no. we can go ahead and get started. Yes. Or if you have an existing seed phrase that you want to use, you can also take that route. Uh, okay. So what do you want to do right now? We're going um, to let's just start from scratch. Why not? Okay. We'll show everyone how to. So you're going to input the password. Okay. Okay, next. Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me do the other one again. It's always. There we go. So we have the password set. Next, it will um, create your recovery phrase. So this is, uh, you know, the 12 word seed phrase that if you um, get locked out, you need to have this to recover your wallet. This is something that um, the phrase will pop up. Once it's up, you need to be sure to write it down and keep it in a secure place. If you lose the phrase, you will not be able to get back into the wallet. So please make sure that you write down the seed phrase. So and go ahead and press good. start. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. Uh... And for the sake of this video, we'll just copy paste it, but normally, yeah. We definitely want to um, write it down on a piece of paper and keep it. Yeah, in you should do that. And, and please remember to write it down very, um, uh, in, in very neatly because I did it once and it, I couldn't even read my own handwriting anymore. So, <laughs> so just do this uh, very uh, properly. Okay, so I've written it down. Yep. Yep. Perfect. And so let's double check. So we'll go ahead and pull up the, the notes there. It'll ask you to confirm what the seed phrase is. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful because then you have an extra check. Can you please tell me what the words are? Sure. You know? All right, so we've entered the seed phrase um, just to confirm that you know we have it. Um, it'll make you verify that that's it. Okay. And now the wallet is ready, great. So we have our new wallet here, um, it's loading, and then we'll go ahead and click on the settings icon in the top right-hand corner. Okay, it's right in here, yes. Right. Um, and then we'll go on import private key. Yeah. Then we'll go yeah. ahead and select the type, which is private key. Um, and then we yeah. have a private key number. Yeah, I will get it from my notes. Oh, where is it? Here. Yep. Oh, then I have to go back again. Okay, no problem at all. Import private key. Yes. And then it'll ask you to name it. So you can name it whatever you want. You can do uh, wallet two or um, whatever is going to be easy for you to remember which wallet that is. Uh, yes. Perfect. Um, and then now you'll go ahead and save it or import it. It will take some time. He has to think about it. <laughs> but if I understand correctly, Gina, mm -hmm. now I created a Stargazer wallet mm -hmm. uh, and the Stargazer wallet has a new wallet inside. So mm -hmm. I've combined so wallets. There's going to be two wallets. So your, your original Stargazer browser extension will have the ability to toggle between um, an existing wallet with a private key. So oh, here we go. So yep, we have that new, new wallet there. So go ahead and, and press finish and uh, exit out of the settings. Yes. And then you'll be able to click on that a little kind of button right there where your mouse is already. Where um, thing, yes. Yeah. And then you, there you go. You have your different wallets. Uh, that's great. I love this. <laughs> totally. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> 